This is the KRUI News at Noon, brought to you in part by the Daily Iowan. This is KRUI Iowa City. City. The temperature is 65 degrees, and for KRUI, this is the latest news. I'm Dallas Warren. And I'm Taylor Lemus. And here are the headlines for this Monday morning. Donald Trump avoids paying taxes, Kim Kardashian is robbed in Paris, and clowns are a month early to the Halloween party. But first, some news from the 2016 presidential race. Donald Trump's campaign faces some pressure after his tax records were acquired and made public by the New York Times. According to the records, Donald Trump declared a $916 million loss on his 1995 income tax returns. With a tax dedu deduction that large, it has allowed him to legally avoid paying federal income taxes for 18 years. Presidential candidates have made their tax records available to the public for decades, so Trump refusing to do so is a central issue in the campaign, with a majority of voters saying he should release them. Hillary Clinton suggested that he was refusing because he did not want voters to know he has paid nothing in federal taxes. Clinton also pointed out in the debate last Monday that Trump revealed to casino re regulator regulators he had no federal taxes in the 1970s, to which Trump responded, that makes me smart. Hillary Clinton is returning to the battleground state of Ohio today. The last time she campaigned in Ohio, she was days away from a pneumonia diagnosis and was derailed by a coughing fit at a Cleveland Labor Day rally, which sparked many conspiracy theories about her health. Clinton has rebounded and is in good health and good spirits. Clinton received a bonus on Sunday when NBA giant and Ohio native LeBron James announced that he was endorsing her. Her visit today is meant to usher a final wave of registrations before the October 11th deadline. As Halloween quickly approaches, a spike in creepy clown sightings across the U.S. has spooked the nation. Sightings and hoaxes of people dressed as clowns have spread across more than a dozen states, leading to multiple arrests. R reports began in Greenville, South Carolina, after suspicious clowns were attempting to lure children into the woods. It is still unclear why these clown sightings are emerging. Police advise people against dressing like a clown because it can create a d dangerous situation. Speaking of dangerous situations, UI police issued a hawk alert Sunday afternoon after a homeless man pulled a knife on a group of people in an alley off of Market Street. 44-year-old Michael K. Phelps was taken into custody hours later after attempting an assault on another victim on the east side of the University of Iowa campus near Burge Residence Hall. He was arrested and faces charges of multiple misdemeanors. University of Iowa's Dance Marathon fundraiser revealed that they are setting their goal $300,000 higher than last year. Amina Chaudhry, Dance Marathon Public Relations head says, everyone involved with Dance Marathon understands that the family fight is not a choice, and we use that as our motivation. Last year, Dance Marathon raised $2.4 million for pediatric cancer. This year's Dance Marathon is scheduled for February 3rd and 4th, 2017, and you can sign up on the organization's website. Kim Kardashian West was held at gunpoint and robbed of an estimated $10 million in Paris, France during Fashion Week Monday morning. Men dressed as police locked Kim in a bathroom while they sold two cell phones and millions of dollars worth of jewelry. Due to the incident, her husband, Kanye West, left his New York show abruptly Sunday night telling his audience he had a family emergency. <coughs> Kardashian's children were not present at the time of the incident. Kim remains badly shaken up, but physically unharmed. Hurricane Matthew turns northward towards Haiti, Cuba, and Jamaica, causing officials in the U.S. East, East Coast to start making preparations for the blow. Hurricane Matthew is projected to be a Category 4 storm, the most powerful Atlantic tropical storm since 2007. Hurricane specialists believe that the hurricane will maintain the strength, prompting, prompting the U.S. State Department to warn American citizens to leave both the Bahamas and Haiti. Additionally, the Haitian government has opened emergency shelters across the country to maintain safety. Captain Bill Campbell will be Iowa City's new interim police chief for 90 days and will replace Captain Troy Kelsey. The police chief position was left vacant after Chief Sam Hartigan retired in June. The city is still reviewing applications for a permanent police chief, but continues to keep a high level of public safety service. If a permanent police chief is found sooner, Captain Bill Campbell will not serve the full 90 days. Iowa City will offer updates on their search for a permanent police chief on their website. Finally, a quick look at the weather forecast for Iowa City. Right now, the temperature is 65 degrees, and for KRUI, I am Taylor Lemus. And I'm Dallas Warren.